Hello my cookies. Today we are going to be making these buttery garlic steak bites. Let's cook. Of course we're going to need some steak. I'm using sirloin. You can use your favorite cut. Just make sure that it has a lot of nice marbling that will make it extra tender and give us that good flavor. Here I'm cutting it into bite sized pieces. I like to go about a half inch per little chunk. Toss them into a bowl and I'm going to add in some soy sauce, some Worcestershire, <laughs> and some garlic powder and onion powder. We're also going to add a little bit of salt. Keep in mind that soy sauce has salt, so not too much. And some freshly cracked black pepper. Now give that all a good toss to coat. Now I'm heating olive oil in my cast iron skillet. I have it set on high and I'm going to allow it to heat until it starts to smoke like this. It will take about a minute. Then I'm going to add in my steak bites. I'm being very careful not to add in any of that seasoning liquid because we want to get a good sear on these guys. Also, don't overcrowd your pan. If you have to do this in batches, do it in batches. You see how I have space in between each steak bite? That's what we want. And we also don't want to move it. We want to let it sear for one minute. I'm doing one minute per side. That will cook the steak bites to medium well. If you want to go well done, I don't know why y'all are childish and want to overcook the steak, but whatever. Do two minutes per side, but just know it won't be as juicy. It'll be a little dry, but that's your business. After that first minute, now I can go ahead and start flipping them over. And if you see, we have that nice brown sear char looking stuff that's what we want we did it right when you have that go ahead and flip the rest over and let it go for one more minute when that minute is up go ahead and throw in some butter and now you can stir it around a little bit to coat the bites in that butter when the butter melts go ahead take them out and set it aside Okay, we don't want to leave all that good flavor in the skillet, so I'm throwing in some more butter, some crushed or pureed garlic, and I'm going to saute for a few seconds, don't burn it, and the rest of that liquid in the seasoning bowl, just going to pour that in there to deglaze all of that flavor off the bottom of the skillet. Give it a stir, turn off the heat, and then we can pour that buttery, garlicky goodness on top of our steak bites. And cookies, that is it. The recipe link will be down there in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this give me a thumbs up until next time i gotta eat be blessed